Oh, it was power right here with an unboxing uh, directly after, or not directly after, um, technically if you want continuity, I so I can just unboxed the Omegeo driver, which I can quickly show, I guess. I gotta read just the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wanted to end on the other one, <laughs> but no. So, yeah, I gotta edit that. Um, let's get on with this last Amazon Japan package. So, yeah, so this is the other one that was supposed to get released. I don't know why it got separated, but I don't know. But like what I stated before, I kind of wish I did held off on Amazon Japan until I actually knew that the Super Television issue with Trap and Spider was actually at normal price. Because now I don't know what else I'll get on there. If I were to go for that, although even though like Strykin clearly told me that he did not want to go on Amazon Japan because he keeps getting fraud notices, but I don't know. This packaging is weird because it's packaged just like an Amazon, like a typical Amazon, like Amazon US. This is weird. <laughs> But hey, there's at least packing. Um, sold by someone else. Wait, let me. Okay, let me. So I guess we got. Okay. okay. So, this, it was another $17 for shipping and handling. So this Amazon Japan order, we technically paid double. <laughs> I'm not really happy about that. <laughs> so I guess that's why, like, we're at such a fiasco, because thing was sold at another place but I guess the good thing I can say is that I at least got this for a good price of so I need a sensor $17 <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> I 
I I got the authorized buster for seventeen dollars new, which is why I kind of opted on getting it on Mandarake. But obviously because this came in, we're gonna be taking a look at the Joker progress key. The I guess we're gonna take a look at actually um. Okay, we're gonna actually probably hold off these for the build of this and um, the progress offer played and obviously um scouting panda um so and actually yeah this is gonna probably get held off too because why not um but yeah so we're just gonna take a look at these weapons because why not as i pop these so listen to this Just the pointy. What is? So obviously this will mean that I'll only have the thousand jacker left to get out of the roleplay weapons. Then I'm finally done because I I think next month maybe I'll try to get the thousand jacker. I don't like the price it prices it's going for. It's too expensive in my opinion. I'm just trying to get this off my phone, this cardboard, but <laughs> It thinks I'm trying to focus in this area. So, um, yeah, obviously, we're gonna go in order of things. So obviously, there's some consistency from the packaging. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is new for sure. So, that's pretty good. Uh,. Yeah, so I think I might have gotten this for new, but just like package damaged or whatever. Obviously, um, these two books will be taken care of in the second channel whenever I can actually edit the series together. Again, it's June the 1st. I don't know when this will get released, but yeah. Let's get this over with, but well, I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, so, yeah, that took a while, <laughs> and such. And also, um, with, I just saw recently that with the Ultraman shop, they are putting out three, gosh, they're putting out three exclusive vinyls of translucent, or, Translucent versions of sets main form, so Alpha Alpha Edge, Beta Smash, and Gamma Future, and they're going to include exclusive medals. Of course, <laughs> I think I think because obviously they can't do Ultra Ultraman Festival this year for obvious reasons, so I think that's kind of the reason why. I don't know what was the exclusive last year, if I had to be honest. <laughs> did Taiga even do it? I, I'm i pretty sure they did. But I know with the Rube, because obviously I'm still sadly trying to collect Rube crystals whenever I can. Um, because... Excuse me. Um, because for Ultra, Ultra Festival 2018... They had a translucent taro, uh, taro vinyl for some reason, and it came with um, the Ultraman Festival crystal. Again, that's one of the few crystals I still need. I haven't. I don't think I've seen it listed on Mondrake, but 
Anyways, um, we're talking about zero one now, but technically it's irrelevant because I guess where I was trying to get to this is that that's what I'm fearing the hardware shop is going to do. They're going to sell products that are exclusive to that store, but then when they get put in the secondary market, they're going to be like increased significantly. <laughs> so. Yeah, I read in the box, right? Um, I'm a I'm really happy I got this for the price I got it for, <laughs> just because like, yeah, we could have gotten it used and such it was like, yeah, might as well get it new. So, um, the authorized buster is a pretty neat weapon. Um, I think it's probably my favorite out of the three non-attached weapons. Obviously, it gets underused because it's a winter weapon, <laughs> but it doesn't, like, it, I guess it at least did a bit more than the Ride Hay Saber, <laughs> just because, like, that toy got, like, shafted because it was locked to Decade. This toy, like, yeah, it is, like, locked to, like, essentially the Shining System, is that even, no, the shining system is with the assault grip, but it's just locked to shining hopper. So like, I don't know. I would I would have liked if like Vulcan still used it, but he can't because Zero One doesn't use the form anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I know, like, technically if I got it, like, used, then it would have just been without the plastic, but, I don't know, the satisfaction of, like, the satisfaction of, like, taking, removing the plastic is fun. I know, like, I know most people actually do keep the plastic, but I, I don't, unless it's... At this one, I'm going to try to activate for it to keep because, like, look at this, like, look at this premium quality. Like, I, I'm going to have to tell Zyken to keep this, like, this is just, like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't remember if I already stated this before, but, um, but, so yeah, the, obviously the only geo driver is Zyken's. But I actually will be covering it. I just... Because I actually do have... Why is it like this? I actually do have plans on, like... Maybe I'll be covering, like, his Riken stuff. Like, his RKFs and, like... Maybe his Akaba Ranger stuff. Like, obviously, the, definitely the Omojiro driver I will have to cover. But I don't think under that, like, caliber. But... Yeah... Man, this is a pretty good length. Like, this is a pretty good length for this weapon. Uh, well, like, this is kind of wobbly, but... See, like... Okay, I don't remember, like... I don't remember how Fua did it. Was it, like... Because I'm trying to, like, remember... I think it might have been this part. Because, like, I'm trying to remember with, like... Again, I have not seen the second arc, <laughs> so I'm completely not up to date, but like, when like the episode after Metal Cluster debuted and such, and like, Arto was about to attack, um, Yua with this, like, Fua like, does this like, I think like he was about to like, attack him, but then like, Fua like, stops the axe, and then like, he like, kicks, he like, he like, gosh, he kicks up this blade part and like turns it into the gun mode and then he attacks back with it. Like, <laughs> that's honestly like really cool. But you can't, you obviously can't do it because of how sturdy this is, which is pretty good. This could be in mode itself. It is like hatchet mode or something. And then like, this is still a gun mode, but. 
Yeah, I really like this. This is a really cool. This is a really neat size. For sure. Um. My lighting's all messed up. So, two triple A's. Um, how much are we down to? And I just dropped the candy toy, not Soto. Soto existed after. Yeah, this one's it's right in for sure. I don't remember where mine went, but um, uh, I get like it's a pet peeve of mine of like people calling like everything before X Aid, X Aid's like uh, calling like candy toy lines before like the Soto line for X Aid, Soto figures because that's just wrong. Like, no. <laughs> Like, Soto happened during X-Aid, not before that. Like, please do not call anything before the X-Aid Soto line, Soto. Don't. I'll blast you with this. No, I'll do something worse. <laughs> but uh I don't know. Like I find it funny with like when Soto like when the Soto line got revealed for X and such I got turned off by it right away. Cause, like cause you know with I guess with me, cause I was like I based it off of name. So uh why stop stop auto adjusting. So, like, you know, with, the, like, Ghost and such, it was, like, gun gun action, and, like, I think, basically, they will, like, just do, they will have these unique names and such, and I really like them, and then, like, when I heard with XA, they are doing Soto, I'm like, that's a stupid name, and just, like, <laughs> and just ignored it, until I actually heard it, it was actually doing good stuff, I'm like, huh, this is weird, <laughs> so, like, Oh, that was just, it's just really stupid of me to actually, like, judge the line by name. <laughs> and now, it's actually, obviously, doing really well. And it's honestly, sadly, way better than RKFs. Because <laughs> they're cheaper figures, and yet, they're more fun. <laughs> but, yeah, as I, because obviously, um, Tsukiyomi got announced, so now I'm, like, in the hassle of like okay now I gotta get a like, cross build I, I get Jill Trinity and like whatever because I honestly don't know what else I would want out of Soto maybe I'll get cross level who knows yay Victim. Well, actually, we already do have a victim, Panda. Gosh. Do see? I don't know what you do first. Do you scan it? Do you do you scan it first or insert it first? You insert it first, okay. Gosh. <laughs> the lights.
apologize, but the whole alien just doesn't want to cooperate. Um, we're lazy, so... Oh, whoops. That's... That's not what we wanted. <laughs> I did not know you activated that. I guess it makes sense. <laughs> okay. Was this one? You insert this. I'm trying to figure out which one's first, scanning it or inserting it. Buster Dust. I think it's Dust. Progrise Dust. So then when you insert it. Progrise Buster Dust. Wait, is this Buster? Okay. Okay, now I understand how this works. Like the. I always like the naming of like the naming of the attacks of this weapon always confused me. So my legend rider pro race keys just keep wanting to fall because um, I don't have a good way of putting these together because like literally you just look at it they're like suffering all at once. But yeah. Um yeah, I'll just pull this up because of laziness, so... speaker down. Accidentally opened. Progrise key confirmed. Ready for Buster. Buster authorized. Progrise Buster Bumper.
Yep, that's it. Now let me grab metal cluster. Because I don't remember which one metal cluster triggers specifically. Okay. Is that really like 10 attacks? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, no. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that was 10 attacks. Wow. <laughs> I just don't understand how Vulcan can, like, hold us in here. Like that. Like, I do think it sucks that, like, these, like, obviously, like, no pro race keys don't do much in here. Like, you don't get, like, Scouting! Scouting! Buster Duster! Team Zero One Buster Dusto. I guess this gets triggered from this, most likely. Come on, I <laughs> think you have to get triggered from this. I, I still don't like how floppy this is. Like, that's just bad. <laughs> Even though, like, technically, I don't need to keep, like, even though I did say, like, I'm just gonna, like, give up and just run it all the way through, I kind of don't want to. I forgot which tab was which. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one is definitely the rice hopper. The, I almost did a grass hopper, but... Like, this has to at least get triggered. Like, this has to at least, like, this toy has to at least trigger this. Because it wouldn't make sense. Like, again, unless this thing only gets triggered from the speaker. But it's not exposed. Whoa, who is this? Okay. But, yeah, so that's the authorized buster. I really love this. <laughs> it's a really fun toy. These lights are so annoying.
Okay, so this one should be the third one, even though... Or this one's the third one, but I don't have the thousand jacker. Jack Rice. Damn. So. The Naginata of Justice. I really do like this one. I actually did have a story behind it, if I had to say so myself. <laughs> just because we typically don't get that anymore. It's just like, hey, look, here's a weapon that we have. Okay, thank you. And it's like, and it just has no meaning. Man, the packaging of this is really interesting. Instructions. And the blade itself, how be back. Okay, I'm back. I just had to do some things and such. But here it is. The power of the human gears. Wait, let me compare the plastic. Okay, so for sure the Progress Hopper blade is smaller and thinner than the authorized blaster, so that didn't need to be stated. So, yep, here it is, the tab of J -J 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 justice. Oh my God, that is factory. This actually fits my hand perfectly. Oh my gosh, this is like the perfect sword for me. Experience life. Rocket Hopper! So don't swing it and don't hit yourself. I'll do both of those things. Again, like, it's actually really interesting with this packaging. I wonder if this is like a transitional thing. Yeah, and I still really hope, like, the Thousand Jacker is, like... I really don't want to get it for 25 because it's not worth it. <laughs> Just because I really don't want it. Like, to me, personally, I don't like getting, like, roleplay weapons for, like, 25 Because I already had to go through that with the Gun Gun Catcher. And it's like, yes, the Dai Kai Gun is cool. I... I don't want to pay $25 for a weapon. And yet, I'll pay like $35 for a gimmick. <laughs> Which is why I'm like, I think I might get the Thousand Jacket for $25. But. Grasshopper intensifies. Man, this is a really satisfying weapon. Oh wow, that's smart. Progress Hopper Blade! I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so, like, comparing it with the Authorized Buster, it's kind of the same. Well, the Authorized Buster 2 is a pretty neat weapon. But, like, this sword just fits right. Like, yes, it's not, like, as big as the show, but... Progress Hopper Blade Ability Ultimate Strash. I really wish that you were at least able to flip the cover. I think that would have been neat. Changing to Lethal Weapon, Progress Hopper Blade! What? But I have the tab in here. What? Wait a minute. Into this right now. Wow, 
Why is this the most difficult cover? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> What am I doing wrong? This one I turn it. Changing to lethal weapon. Progress. There. Okay. <laughs> okay. Changing to lethal weapon. Progress. Hopper blade. Okay. These like. These lights are not like justifying. This is making it too bright. Okay, so now, see, this is weird because I have to do it like this. Just scan this with an. Can I do that? Wait, I have to turn this on. Plus, I think this is the only weapon out in a zero one to actually have its own lights. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so. Okay, because we're cheap, we're going to be using this this by itself. this out. I guess this is the perfect fit too. Okay. So then obviously we'll do wheel our way through this and such and do this. This out of frame. Yeah, this thing is really long. Because huh. <laughs> apparently, this thing is like longer than the um, CSM Blade or Blade Rouser, <laughs> which I'm just like astonished by. And like, this actually feels pretty comfortable. Like, I need to compare this with the Naginata mode of the Gun Gun Saber, but because that's the only other Naginaga thing I have. But yeah, this is pretty um pretty long. Now I'm gonna just close up for the sake. Yeah, like, but that's my disappointment with this. Uh. You don't have an attack. Like, like, I don't understand why you're just stuck to like one final attack. Do they expect you just to use the sounds from here? That's kind of dumb. Uh, so I would have just preferred if it was it worked the same way where you press this five times to get that sound instead of just getting it once and obviously last but not least Gosh. 
Okay, so essentially, like, essentially with the attached caliber, they made it so it only presses like the non, I can believe, yeah. They made it so it, this presses the button that doesn't activate anything, which makes sense so then you don't trigger anything. Just do it from this angle. supposed to make sounds and like the yellows are somewhat near this one's a bit higher but then like obviously like what do they just expect you to do that <laughs> that's stupid Like obviously you can't like do this and then like do that because then there's there's no pro race gate put in this so and yeah taking this off is kind of like difficult but let me just try to do this my view. I I don't like I don't know how he does it in the show obviously. Because I don't, because I'm pretty sure he does it like frontal. That did not sound good. <laughs> that, that really did not sound good at all. It sounded like I broke something. <laughs> like, I guess because like you have to put it in a slant, that's kind of odd. So I think he does it like, so I think he takes this and this and does it like this. But it's still kind of difficult. Right. Right. Oh, like the progress hopper plate still kind of looks stumpy on here. They clearly have a, the space for the QR code, but they didn't put it there. <laughs> what the heck? I'm obviously, um, I don't know why I want to emulate like the picture of like Zero Two dueling these, of the RKF. I don't know why that to me that just looks cool. <laughs> Like he's just like in the air jumping and he like he has the progress hopper blade and the attached caliber like dual wielding <laughs> I don't know why. Caliper, you're done for the day. Um, Pro guys, hopper plate. We were expecting there. Oh gosh, we will experiment with you. 
That's fun. <laughs> this is dumb. They purposely they made it so you can't stick it in because of this. Wow. <laughs> so you can't do that. I don't think you can do. You definitely can't do this because you lost clearance. But if you do hatch it. I just want to stick the progress hopper blade in here. It's a progress key. Well, okay, I'm gonna have to put this down for space. What other things? Okay. <laughs> Breaking mammoths. Mammoths. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do this with a review. This is what... This is what needs to happen within the show. He needs to use Breaking Mammoth again as 0-2. Keep trying to plug it into the wrong area. He needs to use Breaking Mammoth as 0-2 and use the Progress Hopper Blade. To defeat the Ark. He needs to do this. This has to be the final thing. <laughs> it doesn't, again, it doesn't clip in as well though. That's the huge issue. Because it's clearly not like clipping in. Like, like smoothly. It's just slightly clipping it, but not all the way. Yeah, it's definitely not like... It's definitely not solid. <laughs> Which sucks. Um. Okay, I need to go to the bin and grab the risers. Actually, set mouth down. Okay, so force riser and shot riser. Yes! <laughs> Look at this monstrosity. Oh gosh. Yeah, th it, this has the same issue as Breaking Man with. It can't. It can't sit. It can't sit in properly. But. You can at least input it. Put it in like solely do with the storm. So, yeah. And then the force riser. Because I, I know it's not going to fit in the zero one driver. So close. <laughs> Just so close. Because obviously they purposely did not like have the thing here to allow this. To be inserted. And I feel like this thing can actually break your force riser. <laughs> yeah, it it can. <laughs> so it it technically works. It's just not recommended because you have to do some like thing to like hook this in but then that you can't open it again <laughs> so like if you want to break this toy more than you can <laughs> but like again I just don't recommend it like basically like you have to insert it 
because I think the issue now is that, like, I actually am kind of, like, yeah, I'm actually definitely, like, ruining this because of this, because of this square area. I'm, like, scratching plastic off <laughs> my doing this. Essentially, what I'm doing is that I'm forcing this in where, like, technically there's no, like, clear into this running and then i'm just making like this latch on so technically it can work it's not supposed to so don't do this to your force risers um because the damage isn't like this toy wasn't already damaged enough <laughs> Now, moving this aside, because I think we had enough fun with that. Gotta make sure this tab is actually in. Yep. So yeah, Thousand Jacker is gonna be the last, this is the last zero one weapon I need, because I can't see them bring this back and retool it. Um, but, you know, if someone transforms with this, that would be neat. But, I don't know. No, where's the, not the rice busker? There you go. Okay. Metal cluster can go down there. Yippee. So, now we're finally to... The Joker Progress Key 835. Okay. So, yeah, this thing. Gosh, I will be so enthused to review this if it actually wants to light correctly, which it doesn't. So, obviously, uh, this is the first of its kind. We have. A gimmick item from Ban Presto and Jai, I believe. So Jai something. Um, basically, oh gosh. <laughs> from this claw. Oh my gosh. Are you fine? Uh, so basically, uh, if you couldn't tell from this call, you have to get this from a call machine. If you want to know how you get it, watch K2 Azel. Um, yeah. Um, they even follow the scheme. Like, why exactly, out of all things, did this get a proper box? And this, I think this is one of the first few toys I actually have with the new Bandai um, logo, which is just blue. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was I got this because it's a Legend Rider Pro Race key, even though it's the second Joker one. However, it's really inaccurate. <laughs> so. Bandai, why... Did you reduce Bam Presto just doing arcade stuff? What happened to them doing the Compatty Hero series? Oh yeah, you stopped them from the, you stopped them from doing that. <laughs> we could have gone to Lost Heroes three, Heroes versus two. Nope. Sorry, I need to grab some stuff. Oh. <laughs> There's tape at the top and bottom. <laughs> I could have ruined the box. 
What does this eight mean? Is this the eighth one or what? <laughs> and then there's like one of that. But yeah, this was for a dumb price, but it's literally the same price I get every other extra progress key for. Why? Why does it deserve this? Why does it get- why does this get a nice box? Why? <laughs> why can't anything else get this? Like, now I actually am happy that this one isn't like one of the main 20 because if it was then yeah people would get angry <laughs> but like So like I, I guess I understand that like you know doing Joker is like the safe thing and such. So I'll just remove this tape in general. Who needs this tape? I'll just... I'll just make it, like, sit like that. <laughs> like, look, it's in the same packaging as typical ProRise keys. You could have made this DX! <laughs> you might as well make this a DX ProRise key if you're going to make it like this. What? You have to supply your own batteries? Wait. Wait. <laughs> this one's number 80? What? How does that make sense in the numbering system? Why is Joker before the main 20 Heisei Riders? What? <laughs> So great, I gotta supply my own batteries? He's for some reason number 80. Yeah, you have to supply your own L144s. I guess because this is a free product, even though you have to pay a bunch of money to get this. Cause you know, you have to get do go through physical art RNG and like gotta hope that like that crane machine is really friendly to you. Like, come on, Crane, just, just give me a Joker. Okay, so then now it's just gonna be like this. Price instructions are on like. You think this will like? I don't think this will drop in price at all. Definitely will not. But it's like, am I proud to get it? Uh, sure, I could have held off of it. <laughs> For sure. Could have saved $25 from this. So, yep, here's Joker. And like when you compare it to a normal ProRace key box, it's way bigger. What the heck? I'm still really bothered by Scouting Panda. <laughs> like just the condition they got it for, it's just like... It's really weird with how I got mine. The way I got mine, this part wasn't folded in. <laughs> so it's just like like the part where it normally folds wasn't that 
fold it in, but I feel like if the more I mess with it, the more I'm more gonna ruin this package. Cause like, I don't know, I actually thought I got mine for a good condition until I opened it up and I was like, oh my gosh, look at all of these wrinkles. Like, that's really bad. And I got it for $35. <sighs> so I guess I'm just gonna have to use these last two. Just need Hibiki and O's. Then I can I'll be done with these. Again, I unless they I don't know how a zero one will work. I would again because I don't I feel like it, a zero one one might be like the summer movie promotion, even though those are postponed. They're still most likely doing them. Like, okay, I know it's expected that because it's double, it's going to use Trap and Spider. But honestly, I'm kind of like annoyed that it does use Trap and Spider. Because there's literally like five more like jingles they have left. And then there's the Joker picture. Like, okay, like, yes, I understand this is like a simple like recolor to do. Because like, you know, double was green and like they could just use the same thing. But like... Really? You couldn't even, like, change this to the Joker symbol? Like, why is it still the double symbol? <laughs> oh, gosh, like, again, at least I have, like, this one and Abito's in my private warehouse. Dull, it's really stupid that he's exclusive to Gash Pond, but... Because honestly, I guess I would have just preferred if like, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say like I would have preferred if Avito was this because then like again, like that goes against my thing of saying like, well, like making like main writers a part of this thing because I really do not want this to be a main occurrence over like every year, like we're going to have like something that you have to get out of a crane machine, then we got to get our store exclusives, <laughs> it's just like. So obviously, um, we gotta pull out our things for zero one. So here we go with the zero one driver. Zero one driver. And then obviously we'll upgrade it with the zero two unit. So such. Well, both of these don't even require this, I guess. the jingle because it's trapping spider it's still sad i don't have a trapping spider but like, like the thing is that like i find this one really lazy because if you couldn't tell from like the half half they they don't even have a sound playing it's just a pause there's no like joker sounds in this the only sound we have Within this, I'm gonna reset it. Which is just carried over from double. 
and the lights are still annoying. So it's just like, besides like, you know, the emphasis on like Futo, Detective, and saying Joker, there's really nothing double about it. <laughs> so it's just like, it's just like, it. this again just feels really last minute that they did. Well, let's get to the one I actually want. There's tape on my arm. Let's get some panda. Please do not tell me this one's finicky, because that would really upset me. <laughs> Again, this is honestly just my top three pro race case as a whole. I think this one's probably number three for me. Then it's Crush and Buffalo and Amazing Hercules. I just, I don't know. I I don't know why I love the Zaya pro race case. But just let me. Scouting. Scouting? Scouting and Pro Grise. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what's on what I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know why I can't speak English. Okay. So gosh, inconsistent lights, I like that. Thank you. So let's upgrade this to the zero two driver. So like, I guess like I figured out like, technically the obviously the way you are supposed to like obviously authorize this is that you have you because obviously like yes you can like scan it and then like act like it's the zero under but technically because as I stated in the um, box and this this is technically the zero one driver's attempt at being the thousand driver. So technically you're supposed to authorize it first and then activate it. <laughs> so then, obviously you will have to use the magnet here. Obviously, technically, you are supposed to do this. But 
then the issue is that these like to not authorize. Oh, right. He doesn't have eyes. You have to hold this in. No, I guess this one just happens, like, earlier. That's weird. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Again, I don't remember if I pointed this out, but for, I guess technically the way that like you have to like inject this without having to like you know put your finger through is just press this button and it'll slide. What was that? And yeah. So um I gotta put this back on. Um, I guess that's technically it for this video. It's only like, like yeah, I can technically do like this quickly before today's bull fun. Beautiful that is. <laughs> but um, um I don't remember if there's a thumbnail technically for this, but I want to bring our two weapons again because those are mandatory. So that's just gonna fall in. Okay. So yep, um, there it is. There's our thumbnail for this video. And before we end this, I am gonna open up Fang Joker because I did, um, I did film the introduction. So I do want to have some fun with my favorite form of double. And now I finally have all forms of double because <laughs> for some reason it was my goal to get all. Of Double ride watches because I like the jingle. Again, I would have liked the full box, but no. Quickly. 
So this is from the year 6002. So yeah, I now just need Amazon Omega and technically Waz, because <laughs> Waz is technically in that caliber now. And yeah, that should be it. Um, I will be filming two unboxings now, or two built. So this power and I'll leave you people. Bye bye.